Yay. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. We are here inside the lush Liverpool spa, the biggest in the world. Yes. It is lace, very, lace, lace. very nice. Um, Oliver is hiding in the bushes. In the cherry blossom. Watch out the bush. Embracing nature. <laughs> Jonathan, Sinan, and Lucy. Yes, queen. Lucy is work, joining us work, all the work. way from Leicester today. This is so exciting. We're just gonna wait a minute while more of you log on. Um, but yeah, this is exciting. Photos of Israel's act have just landed. So we need to check oh, okay. them out. While you guys pull them up, let's just share our impressions of Israel, generally speaking. I'm so excited for this one. This is one that's really gonna need visuals. It's a good song, but in order to slay, they need to make sense of it visually. Mm. And I'm hoping these photos will reveal that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my, gosh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what? Where is she? Oh, oh, my, oh my god. My god. <laughs> She's upside down. See, that is Noah Carell. That's her head, and then you see her legs. Wow. Oh my, the I mean, face, the body. Oh, oh, wow. oh my god. A picture what? of that prop leaked last night. People were wondering who it was. Look at the lines. I Israel, cannot. Big square. Noah Carell. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wow. So it's I not can't. just the dance break that's serving. It looks like the whole. Oh, oh. the queen of unicorns. Whoa. Yes. Unicorns oh. on the screen. How iconic is that? This looks I expensive. See. Oh. I'm not sure about that. You don't think it looks expensive? No, it looks oh, expensive, look but I'm not sure if I like oh, it. Oh, she's singing. Love the outfit. She's singing. <laughs> oh. This is this is everything. But y'all see this? <sighs> Serving oh bustier. My oh my god. Wow. I'm just desperate for like the entire dance break. That's like, incredible. Right You're still zoomed in. There you go. Oh my goodness. Are these on our Twitter account yet? They will be very soon. I'm gonna tweet them now. Oh uh, my, oh my gosh, god. She's gonna, she, literally, it's gonna be phenomenal. Sinan? It's gonna be. Mm. Sinan, why don't you do your dance? Okay, let's let's <laughs> let's teach the dance. Let's do the dance. Yes, it's please. gonna be phenomen, phenomen, phenomenal. phenomenal I'm phenomenal, phenomenal. inside the train. I'm hey, <laughs> feminine, <laughs> feminine, I'm feminine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, Sorry. while they're clear from the bushes, let's read some comments. Malachi says, Israel are not messing no. around this year. No. ESC Espana says, whoops, ESC Espana says, Noah Carell slayed, we served as expected, Israel is in their slay era. Absolutely. Do we agree? We agree. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, Midnight Arcade, I don't get the hype for this song. What Lucy, would you comment? I think, kind of when I first heard it, I was like, what the heck is this? But I think as time's gone on, it just serves every time I listen. And like, when you think about it, the second it was like, do you want to see me dance? When she says yes. that, we Damn. know that that dance break is going to be one of the moments of the year. Yes. And it looks like it, it oh, is going to be from those pictures. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm living for your response. Lil C Catherine says, phenomenal. Yes. Phenomenal. <laughs> as well, as well. Elat loves Sanan. Ani Ochef Otah. It won't load though. What's wrong with your mouth thing? Why can't I click on Ella? <laughs> there, thank you so much. <laughs> Lost Tinny Creation. She's really going for it, but I can't stand the song mm. at all. Okay. Well, you know, this is a TV show, so I, you know, it's fine. Yeah, I get it. You may not like the song, but maybe visually she will reel you in yeah. with the power she of a unicorn. Maybe, maybe she'll reel us in. She will 100% reel us in. It's going to be so good. Evie Vox, where's Suzanne? She was actually eaten by a unicorn, so she's not <laughs> currently true. of That's this true. earth. She's been digested and perhaps defecated into a different universe, yeah. the unicorn sleigh. Y'all, it's nature. Time. It's nature. It's <laughs> natural. Um, and Ewan Crab says, Israel going all out after their first failure to reach the final since 2014. But to me, I think the song is overrated by the bookies. No, it's, isn't it seventh or eighth I mean, place? Uh, there just isn't that it's many songs in this genre, like the hyper pop this year. There yeah. isn't as many, so it is going to stand true. out whether people That's like true. it or not. It is going to do well. Mm. Okay, more thoughts on Israel. Lucy, K 
Can Israel make the final? Oh, yeah, it's uh, 100% <laughs> guaranteed for me, personally. It's going to be hard going after Lorient, but it is, you know, it's still going to absolutely nail. Like, it's going to be so good. Especially that staging, that box thing, where she's, it looks like... Do you reckon it's going to spin? It's going to be like Sergei Nazareth oh, yeah. levels of, like, iconic kind of... But scary to do staging, I think. It's going to be really special. I'm so excited to see that in motion on TikTok later or whatever. It's going to be good. We have to pause and say happy birthday to Zai Panda. I really happy love birthday. the rehearsals today and my birthday tops it yeah. up. You have a happy unicorn birthday. sleigh day. You deserve Keep it, slaying. Panda. Keep going. Y'all are not at, endangered anymore. You're just at risk. We are so proud. Sending you some bamboo. Love you so much. There, you know, there are 2,000 pandas in the wild now, up from 1,030 years ago. I was on WWF this morning reading all about it. So you pandas slay. Like, every day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. How many unicorns are there? Oh, Maru fan. Lucy, what do you think of Latvia? Latvia is my second favourite this year. It is my 10 points. I am obsessed with Latvia. Um, I think I gave it like a 9.5 on Weeby Jury or something like that. Like I, oh, I'm yeah. really into it. it is, I mean, I'm a British kid born in the 90s. I was raised on this kind of music, <laughs> to be honest, whether I wanted to be or not. So I'm fully here for Latvia. Is, I just think it's so cool. Very radio head. <gasps> vibes. Yeah. Okay, y'all, oh. controversy. Stella La 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 says, don't like Israel enough with the bops already. Who says enough with the bops? We all love a bop. I don't think we will ever, you know, a bop ha doesn't have to be pop. enough a of them. No. Oh, goodness, I need to recover from that comment. Um, <laughs> Jerry Fazello, Suzanne's unicorn cyst. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't, don't do it. Controversial <laughs> question or a statement. Maris on Lina 6666 writes, Noah Carell wants to be Chanel. Um, Channel. That's Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> What, what is the similarities in the fact it's a pop song with a dance break? There's been plenty of those in Eurovision. Chanel didn't invent it. Chanel certainly refined it and made it incredible. Uh, yes, and thank God for that. Yeah, you know? I mean, iconic moment in Eurovision history, but yes. Noah could do that as well. We don't know yet. We've only seen photos. <gasps> Alberto GM says, I'm scared that with all the secrets around the Israel performance, that the dance break we're going to get will be disappointing when we actually see the final product. Product. Interesting. Oh, oh don't. Yeah. It's gonna make me sad if it's not Zonk. great. No. <laughs> I, given how expensive all of this looks, our girl is upside down at one point, and she's still slaying visually, um, <laughs> sensually, and that's the face glowing yeah, always with all the blood always. in the head. She's girl. still doing it. It's yeah. incredible. So I think the build-up will be worth the payoff, person. It looks yeah. like the, the kitchen sink hasn't been thrown at staging quite as much since Sara Alto. Kind ah, of like, you know, know she went upside down. Yeah. Hers was really intense. It looks like this is also going to be really intense, but maybe a bit more put together. Um, <laughs> Ephithiemia Valisere says, I feel like she'll be the slow mo of the year. Blanca <laughs> just back out. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Is it Polish Blanca? Yeah. Don't fight, girls. I, basically, there's only room for one slow mo, according to Ephithiemia. Every the Maya, I think there's only room for one slow mo. Do you remember in 2019 when of everybody course, was that like, was last everything year. is Fuego? Yeah. Is that this year's like, yeah. everything is Chanel? Everything is Chanel. This yeah. is turning into yeah, the Chanel. Lucy interview hour. Lil Catherine says, Lucy saying Lorene in no, no, Swedish. No, no, no. I love <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. And here's a question from Vasilis. Do you think songs that are usually growers don't do well at Eurovision? Because at the end, all that matters is the first impression it gives audiences on the big night. I have yeah. an opinion on this one. Girl. Fulen, last year, I was so, ugh, the first time I heard it, it was so intense, smack in the face, that I really hated it at first. I loved it after a few listens. I feel like on the night, people, that is their first impression. And I think Luke Black might be this year's and I love that song. I love mm. that song, but I'm worried that people viewing it might be a bit like kind of <laughs> the first time they see it. Um, so I think growers, it so depends on the genre, but where it's like a really intense one and then you grow to kind of get along with it later on, I think it can be a really detrimental thing. But we'll have to see, because I mean, Fulen and Summer Mrs. Barber are so drastically different, but you know, that 
It depends. <laughs> Gingerbread asks, do you prefer a grower or a shower? <laughs> we have a super chat. We have a super chat. This is from Buenegi. F oh, thank you so much for that do donation. The Turkish opposition has officially confirmed that if they win the yes. elections, which is very likely, Turkey will be back at the Eurovision Song yes. Contest next year. Now look, we're an apolitical platform, but we support that yes. tenet of your campaign. Yes. Sir Tab for president. Let's just keep oh, it real. Yes. <laughs> and it is for next year, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, this is a great question for everyone. We're going to take this in turn. Who do you think will surprise us this year? Like what happened with Portugal in 2021? Oh, I was thinking about this earlier. Who was it? Oh, my God. Mm, maybe Portugal again this year? Mimika, with the result? I think people are, you know, people and judges and odds are sleeping on that song. I yeah. think kind of one that, I mean, not kind of underdog to win, but underdog to do better than people think is Lithuania. Oh. Yes. Because, tuto, tuto. I mean, I, was, I, I said to somebody once, like, oh, the mums of Europe are going to go nuts for it. And they're like, then I'm a mum of Europe. <laughs> I'm like, OK. Um, basically, I think that a lot of casual viewers yeah. are going to really feel that. I mean, I'm not saying she's going to be like top five. She's not. But I think she's going to... She's not. I love how you keep it real. <laughs> but she's... I she she is top qualifying. 10. I mean, right. also, she is the nicest person So in the world. sweet. So kind. Oh, yes. So nice. Really lovely. Really lovely. Well, Georgia. Adam, actually. Adam Kravich says, I actually think Poland is going to surprise. Doesn't mean they'll qualify, but they will surprise. I mean, it's one that anybody who speaks any language can sing along to the chorus by the end of the song, right? Are you calling it simplistic? Catchy. I love you. All right. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. Oh. Yes. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That's she says, with that song. No, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's. I, I think the, it's poetry, really. Um, but it's I think she's got like the voice and she's got the presence. She's got the look, and they yes. will have the staging. Yes. I really like the song. I like it melodically, but I just think the lyrics are. Well, she does chengaraka chengaraka instead of la 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 la. Don't you remember, like way before, we had a song that had like 100 las or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is something like that, just with Changaraka Changaraka, which is amazing. I love it. That's it's camp. It's camp, girl. Days, it's camp. I'm gonna leave the sofa now. So if Oliver or Jonathan wanna hop in, come on, guys. Why are you to the center? Come, come on. Over. You, you, you are the queen. You this are is the queen. Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gospodin Nelson. Oh, Gospodin Nelson. Oh, Hello from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Dusha Zlato, hvala ti pon. Volim te do neba. Can Norway win? Nice question. Um, I don't think she can win. I think she was like the odd, like guaranteed winner when she first came out, yes. right? But then oh. I think now it's overtaken, been overtaken. Um, I think she's top five though, right? Yeah. I mean, that is gonna Ooh. get the ton of votes. Yeah. A ton right of votes, like she will be collecting those votes. Yeah. Like, like no tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So thank you so much, Gospodin thank Nelson. You. France climbed on the odds pretty something. Yes, they are fourth place. Oh my gosh. Mother. Yes. She's mothering <laughs> she all the time. Mother. The way she looks at you and the body and the, you know, she the talia. She is so beautiful. Yes. Um, I think if we're going to have like a total left field winner, like out of nowhere, I think it is France. Yeah. If it's going to happen, it's yes, France. Yes, 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 yes. Opinions. Maybe Spain, but I don't know how left field. This is very interesting. Like, we didn't talk about Romania a lot. Like, in general, people don't talk a lot about Romania. I don't hate that song. I don't hate that song. I think it's like, I mean, I really like, is it Theodore or Theodore? I don't know how you say it, but Th Theodore. Theodore, Theodore. Theodore yes. I really like him, and I genuinely really like his vocal. I hate the staging. I hope <laughs> it's different. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know, as a hardcore feminist, like to an annoying level, I'm a bit like, oh, when I see the sleeves. Because I, I do think it was put in there for cynical reasons. But um, yeah, so I hope the staging's been changed. But well, I mean, the, whole, the whole song is getting a massive revamp for Eurovision. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, see, okay, same. I didn't know that. It's the first oh. minute acoustic now, just with a guitar. Oh, and interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah. Oh, that, that oh. could be really good. Thank you so Thank much, you. Uh, Cardi Key. 
Hey, do you remember me? Greetings from Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Love you so much. Sizi çok seviyoruz. What's your favorite ever Turkish entry? Because Turkey's come up twice. Doom Tech Tech. Doom Tech Tech. Doom Tech Tech. The best. The oh, best. Like Sertap also, you know, but Doom Tech Tech was something, something different. So That's thank you good. so much, thank Cardi. Let's oh, see yeah. the new comments. Oh, Let's so see. Israel pictures are out. Yes, yeah, we we've saw seen them that and, and we were sh like I can cry so much. Literally, that box thing when she's oh, like, amazing. is she gonna go? This Where am I from? I am from. Well, I'm originally from Northamptonshire, but I live in Leicester in the UK Ooh. now. Um, we don't really have a particular accent except Y sounds come out as EH. So when people are joking about baby from Poland, <laughs> that's actually just normal where I live. So, so maybe Blanca you're was. You're like baby. So Blanca probably was at your place for a few yeah, times. Yeah, I hung out with Blanca, yeah. and then she's like, "You're right, baby," for a while. It's crazy. Um, crazy. Crazy. It's looser. Looser. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's my fault. I think that's about Romania. Oh God! Huge baseball. <laughs> so when we were at London Eurovision Party, Jonathan, when we were outside at London Eurovision Party, and he kept walking around like I didn't get it. Was it just literally to say hi to the fans? I, I don't know. I mean, bless him. He was very outgoing and really sweet, but I didn't get it because everybody was happy to see him anyway. <laughs> oh, Calispera, Magda, the way Leicester is written and pronounced. So Leicester. Leicester. I'm so Lester. sorry. No, no, it's okay. So, it, so you don't, you don't. No, pronounce. it's when you have C E S T E R. It's just Sta. Sta. Ah, oh, okay. See, ma I, I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> my my One second. Star. I just yes. need to jump in for a second. Yes. So hello. We are still kind of constructing the Lush Lounge. So somebody yes. is drilling right behind me now. Ooh. So if you hear loud noises, please just bear with us for one second. It will be over very soon. Apologies. There's gonna be a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, Lucy is so sweet. Kachukta Kirian. Oh, that's I so tried. sweet. Ru hard. girl is a drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. Ru girl. Oh, I assume Ru people were talking in the comments about Ru girls. Ah. We will be back in 2024. Oh, there's one yes. for you there, Where? Sinan, with Where? the purple icon. Where is it? Sinan, oh. how do you feel? Sinan, how do you feel that so many of your neighbor countries will be, aren't competing? I am literally not happy with that, of course, because I love Balkan at Eurovision. We all love because, you know, that, that special flavor we have is always, you know, serving. They always serve. And I'm sad that this year Balkan countries don't have, you know, a lot of ethno sounds. This is only Albania, right? Yeah, only literally. Albania is with their, you know, with their ethno mixed with, of course, modern sounds. Yeah, I would have loved to see that. Where is it? Just go up. Guys, what do you think of Azerbaijan, yeah. Queen of yes. Rock? What do you think of Azerbaijan? Rock. I think they'll surprise us. I yes. hope so. I, I love think that so, song too. so much. Jonathan? I think so too. It's cute. Yeah. It's not one that I put on repeat, um, but I certainly don't hate it and I'm happy to listen to it for the three minutes that it's on. It feels like a song that will. It's like a sleepy hit. Can I say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, like hit. a sleeper. Yeah. Sleeper, yes, but it's going to wake up probably. Yeah. I love because it. it yeah. I love rock entries. Yeah, I mean, my favorite of Eurovision song is Midnight Gold. Oh, so question: <laughs> Are you going to vote for that song if you can? I can't because it's semi-final uh, one. But if, if you can, if you could. If, you know what? If it gets the final somehow, I yes. would vote for yeah. it. Yeah. Just like, absolutely. one for an example. Not to, yeah, I'll do I don't, like two or three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Apparently they're standing on a heart-shaped podium. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to hear that news. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, somebody sends virtual hugs. Thank you so much. Oh, thoughts about the Greek entry. entry. Elada. Elada. Oh my god. So I'm going to keep saying, like, I keep saying, oh, I actually really like this one. There are songs I don't like. Um, but I actually <laughs> really do. I think it's underrated. Mm. I think it just reminds me so much of Shawn Mendes and not in a bad way. Um, oh, yes. I mean, I can be an absolute cat. Oh, Katie's here. Hi, Katie. Um, I do think it's really cute. I don't think it'll make it, because I'm very entirely honest. But I would really like to see it get through to the final. He's very sweet, bless him. Oh, yes. So do we want yes. some breaking news about Czechia's ball? Always. Oh my gosh. So, they are um, wearing matching pink pantsuits. So we're not getting the costumes from oh, the we music video. Oh, we've been And they are doing a dance routine, potentially similar oh. to the pre-parties, I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, that's about it from the back <laughs> blog. Oh, nice. Well, I think they, they should have something, something like like movements because yeah. if you just stand up. And oh yeah, then we need. See. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel. They they will probably have LED crown or real crowns or something like that. 100%. I like I like wearing the idea of a pink pantsuit though, because pink is stereotypical yeah. feminism, and then the suit is kind of more androgynous. So it's kind of yes. between the two. I quite like the sound of that. Um, Sina should also say hello to Norma Scott. Norma Scott or is it like she really? Oh. Hugh Janus, Norma Scott. Okay. <laughs> Okay, are we starting? Okay, let's officially start the season no. of uh, <laughs> meme <laughs> videos. <laughs> it, ginger, gingerbread, <laughs> I love it so off the much. Screen. What was the word? Norma Scott and Hugh James. <laughs> Stop oh. saying it! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe you guys did that, like, <laughs> for real. Armenia to top 10, all. this is very interesting. Oh, yeah. She, oh my, that, those vocals in the Madrid pre party. Wow, I was blown away. I, I didn't expect her to slay that much those vocals because mm. I really love that song. And recently I played it in the gym, you know, when I was in Stuttgart. I don't know why, you know, it normally it normally starts like really slowly and then do 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 do. I mm. absolutely love that. It's kind of a motivational song. It's not know. like one of my favorites this year, but I mm -hmm. think it is going to be top 10. I agree. I think it's really going to be special. What do you think? I'm looking forward to seeing it live, like what mm. they bring to the stage, because there's yes. a definite build and storyline there. Oh, so yes. I'm intrigued to see where I take it. It almost feels like this song was created after, I mean, of course, especially for Eurovision, and as after they spoken about the staging. Like so, so somehow, you know, they, they, they had their staging idea before finishing the song, for an example. Yeah. Good day from Australia. Oh, this oh, is nice. Australia. Oh, someone yeah. likes my accent. Wait until yes. I say a harsh A. Hey, it comes Good out day from I love Lucy's <laughs> accent. Same. Are you all pumped for the main, main event? event. Because, oh, Eurovision, Eurovision. Oh, Azerbaijan picks her up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. The person who did the naughty comments now. Where? In the comments. Oh no. Yes, I know that it will. I don't even hate you for it. Stop the cat spam. Who is spamming cats? I don't know, but we love cats. So how many cats do you have? I have two. Two. They're called Milo and Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Daisy is actual Satan. Is that the grey one? Yeah, the gray? no, yeah the she's gray. a kitten. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I like the outfits though. It feels so uh, 80s, 90s. I'm yeah. Like green and purple. I oh. actually really like that visual. It had to be simple for this. Yes. Maybe, I wonder if it like elevates when, in, you know the second um, one of the song is so well, drastically different. It. I don't know it's in the I end hope end. that it elevates and the lighting changes or something. That would be really cute. Mm -hmm. This feels like a conversation that shouldn't be on camera. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get sorry. a bird's eye view okay. of Just, the heart shaped yeah. thing, yeah. but no. you still sort of have to imagine that it. That's the front of the heart, essentially. I quite like it. I like the lighting behind them, the difference there as well. It's like golden and turquoise and mixed together. It's Morgan? really cute. Morgan, Morgan I just wanted Which to one? add to this one. This Is one? food good in Liverpool? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we are... It's really, you know, it's also not expensive. It's, no, it's, it's really cheap. Yeah, you can yeah, get yeah. cheap food. Have yes. you been to Rex yet? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oliver. Olive, <laughs> yes, I ate... Um, Sausage, Sausage roll. roll. It, oh god, that was delicious. It's so funny, like literally when it was announced that your original was going to be here, I'm like, people are going from Turin with like gourmet <laughs> pasta and Aperol spritz <laughs> to Greg's. Oh. <laughs> For those that don't know, Greg's is basically like, it's like pastry with various meat fillings in it and it's cheap. All vegetarian. Is, is All it, vegetarian. Is it the most famous in UK? It's a bit of an icon in oh, the UK. Oh, There's like millions of them. So You're never like more than a like meter from a Greg's. Yeah, um, yeah, we're small. <gasps> Suzanne, we love her so much. I miss her so much. We absolutely miss her. I'm gutted. I wanted to meet her because she's an icon. She, like, she, the to way, like over. every single word coming out from her mouth is iconic. Like <laughs> it's, it's inspirational. <laughs> Go to Moose Cafe. Moose? Oh, Moose Cafe. Do you know Moose, Moose Coffee? Yeah. yeah. Is it good? It is good. Yeah. <gasps> Speaking of coffee, do we have some gift? product placement? Oh my gosh! Lush. Oh. Lush just gave us those thermal. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh wow! 
Push oh, close. <laughs> push close. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Push close and try me. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just here like... <gasps> oh, nice. Interesting. Best Man, Buy? Is it from it Best is Buy? Not even, oh, it is from Buy. Is it from Best How do you do this? Oh, okay, it's literally... I'm so excited about I'm this girl like so much. I can't wait. I can't... Sinan, are you hanging on to your heart of steel? That song is, is that, a tune. Uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I, I read Israel. It's I'm so you. sorry. I like literally, I need some new glasses. Is it literally new anywhere glasses. Along the Oh, thank you yeah. so much, Lassie. As a Dutch person, <gasps> I'm really you. hoping for the Netherlands to have a good comeback at Eurovision after everything that went down. Oh yeah, they changed you the song, what? right? I'm oh, horrified. you know, personally, I prefer the... The new version the old version? No, the old version, of I course. I prefer the old version. Yes. I do like. not understand how a national broadcaster... I mean, this is no, not even necessarily shade at Avatros. I just don't understand how it's happened. This thing, like, you should always support the... I mean, it's not broadcast as much, the press. Yes. How can they tear down their own act this much? I like, feel girls, so sorry for this. This is something, like, happening with Poland as well. Yeah. Like, it's stop. So sad. Just stop. Yeah. Is that your goal in your life, you know, to be hateful, to hate people, just... Of course you can criticize and say, you know, negative stuff, but that much? Hello? It's Thank just... you so, so much for the super chat though, like, I mean, I know it's kind of been talked a little bit about by William yesterday, but it really helps with the servers, because things yes. are a bit... Servers are not cheap, and people can and make assumptions about yeah. servers or whatever, because I saw that a bit yesterday, but it is actually so expensive to run, so these really help us out, and we are super grateful. So, and, oh, thank you. Haley, I speak four <gasps> fluent languages and six, kind of, you know, Greece and uh, Serbian. I love Serbian language so much. Where's Katie? Katie's here. She's laying on her computer. And she's I going to say hi. Yes. Hello, jumping yes. in. How are you doing? Love what, what she always about? has. Nice makeup, just like Lucy. Like you guys. Oh, Yours is I like the shimmer you've got. Oh, thank it. you. Um, Huda. Huda. Oh, Huda. Oh, oh, Rudy, girl. Ruby obsession. I have no idea what Huda is, but I had to Huda you know, Huda have is, a reaction. Um, it's a makeup brand from Huda. Dubai. Dubai. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Have you been to Dubai before? Guys? I've not been to Dubai. I personally get Huda stuff from Birmingham sandwiches. Oh. oh. Lucy and Sinan will oh, be my mommy cute. and my dad. <laughs> we all would you I can't. What about Jonathan? You can Jonathan. Be the uncle. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> the cool gay uncle. Love it. Love it. Are you guys excited for Armenian's rehearsal? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes absolutely. It's going to be interesting to watch. Oh my gosh, we have Super Chat. Oh, the thank Polish you. and French Queen. Ooh, yes. Lucy and Sinan, will you be my. From Again, the is that the same person? No. Oh my god, I literally made a joke about walking in saying mother has arrived. I'm able to walk mother in. Mother and I father am everyone's mom. have arrived. <laughs> and then they closed. The Did you watch the RuPaul Drag Race season 15? I didn't watch season 15, wins. no. <gasps> there's a... Okay, this will be a little bit spoiler, but Don't there's a... There, there's the time, you know, she says, mother has arrived. And then the the other person, the other queen closed the door, like shuts the door, and it's so, so funny. Is that a reference? Is it Ornatia? Like in, a, in an earlier yes. season? Yes. Like mother has yes. arrived, yes. and then she struggles to unzip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. Iggy, thank you so much. You guys thank are you. so oh, adorable. I wish you guys all the best, and I'm really happy I get insight from other people who love you oh, see much love from Slovakia. Slovakia. Oh, we I miss want Slovakia. Slovakia back. Yeah. So Do you remember that song 2010, guys? Yes. The Oh, bop, oh. bop, bop. I bop. mean, whether like you know much about Eurovision or not, you always everybody knows that song. Yes. Because it's always in like you know when Eurovision do their most played of the month videos. Yes. Even now, it's yes. always played. But yeah, no, it's really great. Thank you so much for that super chat. I mean, I think through these communities, I think so many people do meet Eurovision friends and stuff like that. Places yeah. like Blue Blogs or other fan sites and channels like Maxi Rainbow and Twitter, even though it can oh, be a yes. dance fire sometimes, I love it. <laughs> um, you know, so it's really important to support fan sites at the moment, not necessarily in super chat form, but just like, you know, just visit sites, interact with interact, all the yeah. fan sites, Engage. all the creators, Engage. because... It's an interesting time out here, and yeah, we really appreciate you. Do we like Portugal? We yes. love Everyone Portugal. Everyone loves Portugal. Everybody, Everybody loves it. Give me some pastel de nata. You know, the old oh, nest. Oh, it's so delicious. Ai coração. Ai coração. 
And then walk. Oh, that's the new version. Walk for the. Oh, that would be amazing, actually. Hi, when we will find out info about the Weebly Jam? Coming very, very, very soon. Literally, few days. Like, we are still confirming, you know, acts and on our side. Thank you very much for your super chat. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Surprise, Eurovision fans. Do you like Do you the Greek entry? We covered yes. that one. I, I, I think it's underrated. I didn't ask you what you thought, Jonathan. I think it is fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's it's um, fine. It's fine. I I do like it. I have absolutely no reason to hate it whatsoever. I'm perfectly able to listen to it. It just when I'm ranking all of this year's songs, it just doesn't creep up as far as the <laughs> Um But I still think, particularly in semi-final two, there is a spot for him to qualify. I think mm-hmm. I think he has a chance mm-hmm. of getting through. Yeah. Awesome. Have we heard that Gustav will have a famous drag queen on stage? I- oh imagine. my god, I haven't heard this and I really hope it's imagine. true! Imagine, that would be so iconic. That would be so... Vivian. Oh my god, if it's the Vivian, Vivian I'm actually... I'm gonna death threat, <laughs> but I'll actually die. Oh my god. That would be so cool. <sighs> Thoughts about Israel staging? Well, we only saw pictures and literally I can die. Like being unicorn, I feel like Noah Kirill has to transform us into unicorns and make so make us her army. Yeah. Like army of unicorns, army of Noah Kirill. Do we have a TikTok, by the way? I don't think we have no, because yes. last day, it, yesterday they took their time. What so let's your see. opinions on Finland? I mean, Finland. <gasps> I, mean cha, 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 da, da, I know da, da, da. everybody's saying Lorene is like a dead sir. I think is Finland he going to challenge Loreen for the win? I think Finland might beat her in the televote. I said what I said. I do. Well, actually, a lot of people think that that Finland could will win the televote. I so. do. I think. I mean, but Loreen is probably going to. Loreen is Oliver. more likely to get. Oh my god. We love oh. Oliver so much. <laughs> forever and Oliver ever. Oliver is literally oh. sat next to Sinan. Yes. <laughs> What do you think about Austria? Oh my gosh. Po 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 We love this song. Iconic. Just iconic. I have um a video of I don't know his name, but the the growly guy in Voyager, the one who says like raw. Him growling. No, not Danny, not the lead singer. The other guy just like um the gonna be a roar, that guy, I can't do it. Um, him doing that growl, but saying, oh, mio padre, there's a ghost in my body. Oh, mio padre, to the ghost I need to put it up on Instagram today. We have a super chat. Thank you, JD David Kate. Kate. I hope Katia will do well because the staging is different. His outfits are heart chakra colors. We love chakra colors. Watch his... Subti- subtitle interview he's sober he's so precious he's, he's really him. really so precious even when things were like crazy and not <laughs> not party backstage <laughs> not party. at the London Eurovision party he was always so chill and so nice and he was just lovely so I hope he does well because he is genuinely a gem oh nice opinions about San Marino these guys charming charming lovely such lovely people so nice they were lovely, lovely. I was I was again at the Eurovision party. They were chatting away. They were always we were checking in the other artists to make sure they were happy. I actually think it's quite a good song. I like it melodically. I don't like the lyrics, but I do like it. Anyone do else we? expecting Solo to be the dark horse? We talked about this one earlier, didn't we? We yes. think it's a lot of people started to liking it even more right mm, now. I mean, it like, pops off yeah. when it's in like a bar or whatever. When it's been at the pre parties and stuff like that, everyone sings along. It's yes. one that you can yeah. sing along no matter what languages you speak, really. Even if you just yeah, it's great. Blanca Paloma. I I feel like she's the the one who can challenge Laureen with the jury votes. Yes. You know why? It's like, it's not my cup of tea, this song, but I can respect it so, so much for what it is. And I do agree, like, she could definitely challenge Lorian. Opinions on San Marino, we just said. Yes. And Opinions on Denmark. Denmark. Where's Simon? He's not here. He's not. He's in Denmark. <laughs> ESC team, uh, thank you for your question. Um, um, it's a nice song, you know, but... Uh, Sadly, I'm not that excited as, you know, his, uh, you know, fans. Obviously, he has a lot of fans. He has oh 10 God. million 
likes he has almost or as followers? Many as, he yes. has as many as Sam Ryder. Mm. Like, uh, that's a big yeah, deal. Which is amazing. Huge. I hope all of them vote. Imagine yeah. so many people voting. Ooh, the problem girl. is, I think a lot of his fans are in um, East Asia. Oh. I think he has quite a big market in South Korea and that. Oh, that's apparently. interesting. Someone told me. That's really well, interesting. Well, if you can get to the final, there's now a rest of the world vote. Oh my yes. god, I forgot about yes. that. But will it be like one country? Yeah, like, like one yeah, no. one, 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 one twelve points. Yes. But I, I do think that song could be underrated. Nice. It's a people pleaser. It's like um. I really like it. Yeah, I think it's a crowd pleaser. Somebody said, I "Love the Ping Bikang." Yes, this <laughs> is. Um, Lush, we are here at Lush and we are going to have our first act coming up May 2nd, which is tomorrow. Malta and the busker are coming tomorrow. Hello, Netta. What? Netta? Where's Netta? Girl, is she is here? Oh. Is this... Netta? My best mate, he's trying to video call me and he yeah. loves Weeby Blogs. So oh I'm literally just going to see if he picks up Hi guys, do you think our menu will call for? I oh, can't yes. talk right now, I'm literally oh, on the yes. live stream. Everybody say hi to Ben. Hey Ben! <laughs> hi! <laughs> so, it's actually late, love you back. Oh yes, um. <laughs> Armenia is qualified and thank you so much Joe for your super chat. Hello. No, Kirill was great, almost 10k guys. No, 10,000k guys. What? Almost. Well, is that the almost a oh, oh, a ten, nearly okay, a thousand? Nearly a thousand. Thank Woo, you so wild. much. So happy to have you. Can the rest of the world only vote like in the, the final? final? Yeah. Is, is it only yes, the final? I think so. Yes. Opinions on Malta. <gasps> yeah. Malta are one of my favorites. Do you wanna dance? Sorry, I'm getting too into it. I love that song with a fervent passion in my heart. I am going to the jury show for semi final one in a jumper and a party hat. I am, all right, so this is a thing. My three favourites in semi final one, none of them are going to qualify. Who are they? Malta, Latvia, Netherlands. I think oh, that may qualify. Okay, I think two of them may qualify. Um, my husband, who happens to be over here, um, he actually made a vow at our wedding, literally in his vows at the oh. wedding, saying he'll be there for me if my favourites don't qualify. That is going to be put to the test this year. Oh. <laughs> my number one is Slovenia, so like, I'll be fine. Uh, let's sing it. Lubili sei sei grali, kodana sutri bo. Ne bomo štili urdu zore Ej, preskakovali bomo gore Ej, ne bomo štili urdu zore Ej, sali, igrali Igrali Več ne bo That's enough, that's enough I saw, um, do you guys know Ren? He always wears a panda hat when you Yes say. He did Eurovision karaoke the other night and he sang that song perfectly in Slovenian, every word. I was like, Oh my gosh. Well, you know, when you are passionate and we love some, when you love something, you go for it. You know, yeah. you just go for it. Love it. Um, what song do you not like this year? Oh god, right, let's get the ranking. Tea, where's the tea? Do you have tea you inside? <laughs> you can get tea fresh. I Try mean, to it's on Blush. brand for the UK Liverpool, to yeah. be all over the tea. Um, <laughs> Genuinely, this is one of my favourite years for a really long time because, I mean, I'm a huge rock fan. I'm not just saying that genuinely. I love this year. The Ooh. bottom of my ranking currently is Ireland, uh, but their staging oh. really impressed me yesterday. The photos. Oh, that's, I was that's very not impressed. Interesting. Okay. So I'm sad because if it was Colony, I look. Um, Ireland would be my number one, but oh, but you know, let's see. Um, Switzerland is also near the bottom for me, and um, Germany. Oh, but I can respect Germany. Deutschland. Yeah, hmm. I just—it's not my cup of tea. I mean, again, I'm a rock fan, but I'm yeah. bound to not like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I think it's. Oh, oh yeah, Azerbaijan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Slovenia yeah. is already on their way to. I cannot wait. That song is up. <gasps> oh my god, yeah. I saw they'd left. They'd left Ljubljana. Ljubljana. I'm so excited to see their staging. Because, like, it could be such an anthemic moment. You know how, like, I mean, I don't think it's going to be to the level of Mango in 2010. But you know how that felt like it was their own show? Yes. I feel like Slovenia could do that if they do this right. 
Um, let's see, Slovenia, my number one in semi two after Austria, Belgium, Gustav, number three. Oh, that is taste. That Gustav is, is wonderful. taste. Yes, I love Gustav oh, so much. Thank you, Jok 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 Jok. Thank you, Electro Velvet Stage. <laughs> Excuse that, me, I am still island? suffering PTSD as a British Eurovision <laughs> fan. If you could Stop. just not talk about electro velvet. Oh my god. Did it, didn't you like that? No. <laughs> it was you know okay. What? It was okay. You know what? You know. Molly Smitten Downs is from the same city oh, I yes. live in. I was so excited in 2015 to my boyfriend at the time. Um, I was saying to him like, oh my god, you don't understand when they <laughs> release this song, this is in 2015, when they release this song it's going to turn the world upside down, like the BBC are going to absolutely slay because oh. they did Molly last year and they're going to build on that, then they announced Electro Velvet. When I tell you I was on my knees, ah, in front of the TV. <laughs> Well, and I'm not even being dramatic. I literally did that. Molly was amazing. Molly I feel so like she great. deserved more. more yeah. than There's that. a weird amount of people from Leicester. Engelbert Humperdinck lives in Leicester yeah. as well. See? And like he, like he's known to just sit in his coffee shop and just people watch for four hours, just drinking coffee constantly <laughs> when he's back <laughs> in Leicester. If you've got the time. <laughs> yes. Why not? He's so, the nicest. Thoughts about Cyprus? It's not my cup of tea. Again. Um, Again. Oh. I Again. said, I, you know what? I said nice things about Romania. Oh, yeah. I've got a free pass now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, yeah, uh, we didn't see anything from him, sadly. You know, he wasn't at the parties and no. stuff, but... I mean, he could absolutely bring it, because yes. I feel like he'd be capable of really he good staging. He sings amazingly. Mm. I really like the song, by the way. It's, it's, it reminds me of Eurovision, of... You know, when, when when the song starts, I was like, I get goosebumps actually because yeah. that voice is such such. It's really good. Where is it in your ranking? Sort of middling. I think it's oh, a, okay. a very adequate song. I do think they'll sort of hopefully bring some staging to just make it pop. That bit. Yeah. Mm. What is your favorite this year? Do you like top three? My I have a Nordic top three. Ah. Sweden, Finland, Norway. Oh. If there was ever going to be a year to have a Nordic top yes. three, my, my Scandi <laughs> fanboy era is now. Iceland. <laughs> Full swing. Iceland's in my top ten. Denmark oh, is number power. twelve. So like living the Nordics. Edwin, Miss Ella. What's this? I'm not just putting this up because it says Lisa's queen. I'm just intrigued what the rest is. Ask a guy if he is single. Who? The teal jumper. Lucy, ask guy if he's single. You think Oh, are you single? It's probably coming across wrong on the camera, but it's actually green. Um, yeah. That's Jonathan's main point from this. So, Jonathan, are you single? No. I am, yes. I have never been in a relationship. So there we go. Oh, it is time. Single and ready to mingle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see thoughts about Spain. Oh, you know, spiritual and that voice that she, she literally, you know, speaks to you. You know, wh while she's singing and she, you know, tells a story. Oh. Her voice. Where's this one? Jonathan. Okay. One, two, three. Instead I wrote a song about how you did me wrong I could have cried at home and spent a night alone Instead I wrote a song da 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 So yeah, we, uh, I absolutely I, love, 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 love I did, I did the dance routine for the Wee Wee Jury TikTok <laughs> Because so many. Is that the, with the? I really want to see this now. I'm gonna look at it in a minute. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the comments didn't particularly like the dance moves, but oh. I'll leave it at that. I, do, I I haven't seen it. I want to see it. Well, let's bring it up. Anyone can, you can dance, Angie. <gasps> Abriel Robertson, Spain is my very last place. You know what, right? I'm not a huge fan of that song. I haven't put it last because it is culturally relevant to the country and I can respect it for what it is just because it's not my cup of tea I can recognize it as being special for what it is so it's nowhere near my bottom even though it's not one I listen to a lot yeah um the reason why Ireland is my last currently is because I didn't really feel like there was um any particular connection to anything with Spain it's it is special yeah show us please. oh my god let's, let's see, see. It's too tight. Da, 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 da. Girl, I da, love da, da, this da, da, so much. Da, 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 da. Hey, oh my, that's that's perfect. That's hey guys, guys. Like show some love. Oh my gosh, for real. What do you think about Mama Chip? Mama Copila Tractora. Chip. Mama Copila Tractora. Chip. 
Petra, what do you think? You know, it's, it's not great. a song that I listen and I will listen no. on Spotify, but the message is the most important thing here, I yeah. think. Yeah, I know? think and it's really visuals. fun though. I mean, when it was in London, I was like really impressed. I think it was one that was a surprise. I think it was one that really got the crowd going. Yeah. Um, I was speaking to somebody at the BBC and they were just kind of like, it wouldn't surprise me if this ended up being like this year's Moldova because people are gonna eat this up for breakfast at well dinner at With home when it's on pepper and some sausages <laughs> bit know. of spice yes. um i think it's gonna be nuts i went to swear then but it's gonna be nuts <laughs> um and i think it's gonna do really well i think for a lot of casual viewers this is probably going to be their big WTF moment. Yes. It's oh, yeah. just going to sort of stick with them quite a lot. And these people Definitely. vote when they are like, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, I'm going to vote for this, you know? Somebody who's kind of... on Czechia. Will they get top 10? I don't think it's as good live on the recording, but could yeah. still... Yes. I used to think it was obvious top I 5, but I don't think that anymore. Love it. I love the song so much. And they, their vocals... And I'm so proud, like as a Bulgarian person, that they use Bulgarian language in it. Yeah, it's like, cute. I will be, you know, forever grateful um, for that. Noah is Where posting is like a lot. No, what do we think about unicorns? No. So Noah, <gasps> let's put you out your misery. Uh, we love okay. it. It's gonna be <laughs> phenomen, phenomen, phenomenal, phenomen, phenomenal. E. Feminine, feminine, femininal. That's what we think about. It's phenomenal and femininal. We actually used that as a code in yes. London. Did yeah. I tell you about this? No. Where we were like, is everything okay? Like across the room, like, is everything all right? We go, it's okay. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, how it's are you a, feeling? It's okay. it's okay. I'm feeling phenomenal. I feel phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, she, I, I feel like, you know, Noah, exactly that's what she's going to bring phenomenal and femininal performance. Oh, it's going to be. I think the live is going to be yeah. a lot better than the actual studio recording. I think it was oh, built oh, yeah. for a live. Yes. And, yeah, and I mean, in the sense of where people are like, it's three songs in one. I think that will make sense when we see how it's staged, that the way it moves, I think it's going to be like... We're going to enjoy a good show this year. Like, really, really good show. Really like, good. For real. uh, Come Sinan, to, come to New, New York. York. <gasps> Please take me there. Welcome take to New me York. literally take my Don't soul. I I love New York City. I have never been there. I have never been to America, but hopefully in the future, in the near future actually. I have you been to America guys? I uh, went to New York. It was years ago though, like 2009. But I want to go back ASAP because I'm a theme park nerd. Yeah. And I want to go to some parks. Yeah. What about you, Jonathan? Uh, I haven't been to New York, yes. You travel all over I'm the place, so Jonathan, oh, oh my god. Wow. This man's Instagram, I'm like, whoa, look at that with these crazy Oh, I Jonathan's love your last going. picture with the cake. Oh. Was it that India cake. you went to recently? Yes, I went to wedding, India right? for a friend's wedding. That was an what? amazing experience. How, how many hours do you fly? Uh, I think, like, at least 10. In total. Oh, shit. With a, with a layer that's a lot that's really? a lot so you can order Williams Eurovision book in the Amazon website also have you read the book yet? no I read well, the book oh. oh. William let me read it oh, and it was so, so different kind. than I expected it was so emotional like, yeah emotional I think people are going to expect it to be all camp and silly about Eurovision there is so much like to this point, it's beautiful. It's a really in I, I there's bits wait. about Suzanne, um, and I think some of the things that are said kind of get explained in the books. You know, some of the trash talk that happens on Twitter. Oh, yeah. it's explained so beautifully, and I think when people read that, they're going to be like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So you know, it's it's a really genuinely great book. I I absolutely loved it. I devoured it in one day. Literally, it's really, really I, I'm good. really excited to read it. Like, really, it's great. really good. There are some iconic Suzanne. <laughs> ah! Oh, see, even in the book, she's iconic. Oh my god, Sinan, we were singing Phenomenal at the same time. Oh, yes! Feminine, feminine, feminine. Standing like a unicorn. Don't you ever learn? I got the power of a unicorn. Don't you ever learn? Okay, yeah, Eurovision down. party. Thanks for the super love chat. Love you, love you. Don't Maybe think that's has accurate. some withdrawn. <laughs> what? 
I don't think that's happened. Um, Imagine. Thank you so much the, for the super chat. Thank though. you. When is Devon coming? I actually don't know the answer. Next, Next week, 9th May. Ninth, ninth of May. Ninth, Devon. Ninth of May. Ninth. Ninth. Yeah, ninth of May. I'm so excited to see yeah. Devon. He is so fun. She, he is one of the best like people is I Suzanne know. Is Suzanne going to be with you in Liverpool? She's not. She wasn't able to come. No. Apparently, she's doing a bunch of yoga, which is yes. a must do. Yeah. Um, it's too high. It's too high. What is too high? Are we too high? No, our voices. Okay, we're gonna talk like this. Put the mouth on the drag down. Is drag down. Girl, is that high? Is that the one who is high? That makes more sense. The mouth down. Okay. Thoughts about Finland? It's crazy. It's party. It definitely is crazy and party, and we are so excited. Yes. What's the atmosphere are like around Liverpool at the moment? I've only just arrived here. I'm here for the day, and then I'm coming properly next Saturday. I walked in. The first thing I saw, well, we drove into like a outside station, got the train in. Mm -hmm. Eurovision is everywhere in the city. Like literally, even on yes. the outskirts, the love, suburbs. I love that. There was like um. Banners, Banners everywhere with posters, the heart logo, yes. and that's on the very outside of the city. It's everywhere. It's like billboards filled with Eurovision, and then as soon as you get into Lime Street Station, it's like Eurovision welcomes you. And then, I mean, this isn't very far from the main train station. That's important for anybody travelling by train. It's like it took me less than five minutes to walk to Lush from there. Oh, so um, it's literally just down the road that way. Um, but yeah, there's like banners everywhere. Uh, Oh god, I heard the like bravo, thing bravo as for, I bravo for doing that. You know, <laughs> BBC and UK. You know, you are doing an amazing. Oh my gosh, what I'm doing? <gasps> okay, now it's better. Right? Is it better? <laughs> Who is your surprise non qualifier? Now Serbia. Yes. I'm really sorry because I really like that song. But don't I don't want it to be there, and I'm not saying I want it to be there at all. I really love Luke Platt. But it's, I don't, for anybody that wasn't here earlier when I explained this, I think because Fulen was so intense, people, they see it for the first time, they can't take mm. it in. I feel like Luke Black is going to do that as well. And people are just going to be like, okay, maybe not. Maybe it's just because I'm neurodivergent, I think that. But <laughs> it might be a bit much for people the first time. Damn, like I have a humongous yen to if meet you all humongous, let's be careful <laughs> yes. Jenna, i really following and observing your videos indeed you all are mesmerizing oh, thank you so much i cannot even you read try. english anymore like for real it's i played the jay's wall palette nah. um, <laughs> Oh who God. said Mimi Cat is with drumming? Jay yeah, who said that? I wanna know. Like, girl, uh -uh. Your Lucy, check your Twitter DMs. Oh. Oh, oh my God, it's Joe! <gasps> oh my gosh, Joe, Joe Crook! Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy Joe. Okay, here. guys, Mimi Cat is not withdrawing. Who is? Mimi Cat's not that? withdrawing. No, Stop the slander. Stop! <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Do we have anything? Do we have TikToks? <laughs> Oh, Sir, the oh in here somebody is a bit said. Interesting at the moment. Bear with. Yeah. Where's Katie? We need to. Katie She's is right coming. She's right here. Please. Come on in, Queen. What's happening? Do you have the Wi-Fi password? Hello. Uh, no. What's been going on? <laughs> it's um, the adult. Can we, all, can we all jump in? Can we all shimmy in? No, 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 that's fine. Are Sorry, Joe, you make me laugh. That's really good. Um, Sinan, I just need the call off William. Um, just yeah, Joe to sent me a message of Adele yeah. being like, ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, just setting up um, some extra streams. So what's been going on? What have I missed? Um, a lot of questions about Noah Corral. People Fair. are asking about that a lot. We've we not got the TikTok it. yet, right? No. No. <laughs> um, but we've got the pictures and we've got the Azimuthan pictures. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna lose my mind when I see that new Noah Car Corral one. Have we got? Who's after us, my child? Have we got those pictures yet? Czechia. Have we oh, got? Oh, of course okay. it is. Have we got Czechia pictures yet? Not that I've seen. Oh. What do you oh, no. think could Azerbaijan be the dark horse? Oh my god, I love this song so much. Mm. So it pains me to say this. No. <laughs> I think it's going to come second to last in the semi it's Do you? between them and Ireland. Who's going to come last? I really don't want that to be the case, though. Ireland. I love, love Azerbaijan's song this year. I've got the hiccups. This is great timing. Um, but yeah, what is happening outside? 
It's like um, Vuvuzelas and stuff. Is there? It's like oh. cancer. Like, to Jordan with cancer or something. No. Um, I said to Jordan when I got here, there was a man outside just with a speaker playing Christina Perry, A Thousand Years. Oh, really? And just stood there just doing this. That was his, how he spent his bank holiday oh, Monday. More him. power to him. Good for him. <laughs> So I think... The march for the nurses' strike. Oh, oh strikes. Sir. So I would say that I, I'd say Azerbaijan could well be the dark horse. It's different. It's not like anything that they've sent before, which makes me really excited. And I remember um, kind of Eldar saying that when he first heard the song, like, it just really surprised him, and it just really surprised him that you know kind of like these guys just kind of went away and did this and you know I think it could surprise other people too and yeah. they've exceeded expectations their whole life so why not do it at the semi-final I mean the fact that they've gone to Eurovision for a country as exactly. esteemed as Azerbaijan yeah. is not mm-hmm. um, one of the questions just here I really liked it oh god this moves so oh. fast oh god what have I done I really is, so I can't it takes, find it takes honestly like it oh, takes a okay. while to master shall we do it's this like one a, like a forest what do you think of Italy how would you compare it to what, ooh, what Israel staging as well what how do we compare it to the previous entry L'Essenziale I much prefer L'Essenziale that is oh, uh, that was you? my yeah that was my winner in 2013 to be fair so it was mm. going to be hard for me to prefer this one I'm not super into Dua Vita really I know, I know that I'm in the minority there though mm-hmm I think it like is evolved, which is really lovely. I love Les Enziali and then I feel like within these ten years he's really evolved and I absolutely love Joe Vite. Which is probably butchered the pronunciation of. I think he has evolved, but for me the two Eurovision entries are very similar, just classic Italian ballads, which <laughs> I like. I agree. Um, Blasphemy. But I think in terms of his, if he was going to showcase his involvement as an artist, mm. he would have gone with something like... Like Guerriero or something. Like yes, no, I was yeah, about to say that yeah. one. No Stress or yeah. Me, I can't remember the name, but like something a bit more boppy, which he's done. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Katie, can you please speak to you? I can very gerne auf Deutsch reden. Ich bin, ja, es ist so schön, endlich auf Deutsch reden. Also, weil ich in Großbritannien arbeite, habe ich nicht so oft die Gelegenheit, auf Deutsch zu quatschen. Also, es ist sehr schön, mit euch auf Deutsch zu reden. Who's gonna suffer? Oh, we're not going oh. there. God, oh, that's scathing review of May month. Oh, we're not here for that in the month of May. So, Israel staging. Um, I'm excited. I mean, the photos that I think Noah has posted on her own Instagram has slightly kind of piqued my interest a bit more. Um, just in that I think that is a little taster in what she's going to do. We all saw that video too of the initial reaction to her stage and so I think that it's going to be all about that dance break and seeing what she's going to do in the dance break. Um, the staging is I suppose almost quite similar to the music video in that it's very like produced, it tells a story, it's probably what I was expecting, I was expecting big things. Yeah. I think what I want to know and hopefully I'm going to find out in this TikTok is what is going to happen during the dance break, that's what I, I want to know. I think they'll they'll leave it out. Do you think? Yeah, I think we might get like one second of the dance break, mm. but I think it's probably something that they're going to say. So I suppose it's interesting yeah. that Noah's obviously chosen to reveal a little bit more herself on True, her yeah. own channel, isn't it? So she she wants us to know clearly. Yeah, definitely. Guys, what what do you think about Georgia before rehearsal? It's their best in years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The best in years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really like it. I mean, I'm a Nika Kotcher stan, so I always <laughs> love Circus Mercus. But, um, Georgia, Georgia, yeah. My twin. Yeah. Yeah. Sinan, I could literally listen to you doing that all day. I love it so much. <laughs> I can't do it like you can. <laughs> I feel like, so with me, with Georgia, kind of as a native English speaker, I feel like maybe we're kind of listening to the lyrics more and we're more fixated on like, well, what's she actually saying? What is this? But through the semi-final, could well see it getting top 10. Um, I think obviously Eru Live is, I've 
got I got to see Eru perform at Voice of Georgia, which was absolutely amazing, and she's an absolute powerhouse live. So, yeah. yeah, it could be really good. I'm looking forward to the staging. That's one for you, Katie. Katie, where are you from in Newcastle? I have family from there. So I'm from the other side of the river. I'm from the Gateshead End. Um, so yeah, so kind of just over the river from Newcastle. Where are you from, Jonathan? I was born and raised in Leeds. No <laughs> yeah. way! I would ne- genuinely never have got that from your accent. Yeah, so I am a northerner, <laughs> but very much do not have a northern accent. That's all slipped away. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> I am, um, I was it everyone, so you guys will both assume I'm a southerner because I'm from the Midlands and everyone who's northern thinks I'm a southerner and everyone who's southern thinks I'm a northerner. <laughs> but no, I would never have guessed Leeds for you at all. Oh my God. Um, somebody's just asked Katie where you're from again. She's from Gateshead in Newcastle. Yeah, so I'm basically from <laughs> two hours from here, but we have an entirely different accent. Make it make sense. Who was your favourite singer from Newcastle? Because like oh. Liverpool, Newcastle's got a huge heritage. Cheryl, like music. obviously. It has, Cheryl. To be Cheryl. it has to be Cheryl. <laughs> obviously. Oh, I'm a huge Sam Fender stan. So also know okay. he's North Shields. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really here yeah. for that. I love his Geordie accent on the songs. Netherlands sounds very promising. Uh, why will it not go? There we go. Um, Honestly, it took me weeks in Turin to master this. <laughs> Mr. Gabriel. Mm. So... I had Netherlands as my second before pre-parties. Um, it has gone down because of the pre-party situation. We were saying earlier on, like it's such a shame kind of what's happened with the national press. And I don't think it's right. I don't think it's fair. Um, they deserve better than that. I'm not sure how I feel about this new version because I love the original version so intensely. But if it's easier for them to sing live, it was the right move. I'm really intrigued to what their rehearsal is going to be like. Obviously, we won't really hear much, though. Well, so we've got breaking news. Go well, we've got their live blog this, edition. This shouldn't be funny, like, but it is a bit... <laughs> I'm not going to put it on the screen, but it's a bit funny. Um, so, uh, Mia and Dion are on a small, revolving stage. Oh, it's given um, common let creates a beautiful effect as they move around each other against the backdrop of the spotlights in the arena. It's a complex camera setup that makes the whole performance very intimate. Uh, If you're watching live in the arena, you should also watch the video version too because you get a completely different perspective. Oh, okay. Oh, that's going to sound really interesting. Like you say, it's very common linen. It's like it's going to serve potentially. So that's really, really good. Um... So do we think in terms of, obviously there's been questions about, you know, vocals and performing live, do we think maybe as if they asked, well, either the revolving stage, they're going to be tense, aren't they? Which might yeah. hinder, or because they're stood still. They and could have a mic stand and then, no, no, no. We don't, well, actually, no, they've cut out the drama mm. of the last bit now, but... Ideally, there'll maybe not be much movement, mm. and that might, like, help them vocally. I love her. Future right, I'm gonna jump off and do some technical things. See you in a bit. Boop. Bye, lover. Um, let's get in. So I saw somebody comment Little Mix. I assume that was in response to um, favorite acts of Newcastle. My eyeshadow palette is from a member of Little Mix. So I fully stand. I went to see them on their final tour last year, and I was screaming my actual head off. Um, whereas Suzanne, she is doing yoga somewhere in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Katie, you look very European. Are you sure from Newcastle? She's she's from Newcastle. She does look a bit Scandi, doesn't she, oh, Katie? Yeah, well, a lot of people have been saying that she looks like, identical to Eru from Georgia. <gasps> she does. She is a bit of a doppelganger. Um, not related, maybe? But what will happen with Australia after this year? I I bet they I, I would they've got to sign up again for a little while, so. right? Yeah, I don't I don't see why they wouldn't. I feel like interest in Australia is still very much there. Yeah, definitely. I really hope so. Uh, but, 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 which automatic? Oh my god! Which automatic qualifier will have the best staging? I have. I mean, if we're going to go off based on what we already know, surely it's going to be Spain. 
because that staging really helped kind of lift that to be something special. You can never ever count out the UK though because we so either do complete garbage or we do absolute. So that could be really special. Um, full disclosure, I wrote a song is not one of my favourites this year, but I think she's one hell of a performer and I think it's a really great way to and close out the show. Um, you know the fact that May is performing twenty sixth. I think will really help her actually because she's not going for the win I don't think well I mean she probably is but she's not likely to win Eurovision but ending the show in 26th will really help her get those party votes and I think that's a really useful thing I think it's going to do well what do you think the UK stage again? I just I really hope we keep the momentum because yeah. honestly I've I can genuinely say, like, I've never known people to be as pumped about Eurovision as they are this year. Like, I don't know about you, have you got all, like, work colleagues and everything messaged you? Jonathan, what's the bucket's favourite? Tell me about Eurovision, because I've got it non-stop. Yeah, every time I sort of mention Eurovision at work, it sort of then spirals into a bit of a a long conversation about that. Um, (laughs) Does it involve the words, well, actually, it's not political, (laughs) because mine does all the time. It's not political in the way you think, Janet, from finance. Um, but yeah yeah well yeah de- depends on the colleague no <laughs> yeah, I think uh, a lot of mine are, are very much up for it uh, and they're really mm. excited for the contest as well so yeah I think the attitudes now compared to like 2015 ignoring the fact that the UK entry was in 2015 we've already discuss- discussed that one <laughs> um, but I think the attitudes in 2015 the first thing anybody said when you like said you like Eurovision, was always like, oh, that trash, blah, 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 blah. get really offensive. Now it's like, oh my God, that's amazing. How did you get into that? And, blah, 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 blah. and you know, like, I think it's genuinely a huge shift in attitude here. Like, genuinely, like, colossal difference. Yeah. Um, and I mean, Sam Ryder helped with that, for sure. Definitely. I mean, in a way, like, May has an even bigger job than yeah. Sam to, like, keep that going. Oh, there's another person saying you're cute, Jonathan. Thank well, you. Well, how am I doing this? Um, Sorry. I didn't if, watch. Just two fingers. Oh, two fingers. Wrong. There we go. That makes sense. Because um, if we... Hopefully, she will do well. But if she does end up right-hand side of the scoreboard, you'll probably get a lot of people going back into the, oh, last year was just a fluke. And yeah. then it just dies down again. So I'm really hoping that we can just sort of keep sort of left-hand side of the scoreboard and just sort of continue continue onwards from there yeah i'm trying to find there was a really really good one a second ago oh yeah let's discuss it what do you think of the logo and slogan I, l- I like the logo and the way that they've used it in the graphics and how um it's going to look in the live programs as well in terms of like the fade on and off between different things yeah I think it's gonna look really the good it's really good and i mean around the city as well like i was talking about this earlier when you get into the train station and there's banners over it you can't miss it because it's so bright yes. like you can see it a mile off in like a really good way not in a garish way so i think it's it's got a really good unique ident- identity you see those hearts you're like oh it's a eurovision hauling like it's i really like it. i love the slogan like i yeah. love the yeah. slogan. i mean the slogans can usually be a bit whatevs oh hello gorgeous bonjour, bonjour, no, bonjour. Bonjour. oh gosh oh. no that's oh, strange gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hello um i've just refreshed the eurovision tiktok and israel's first rehearsal is <gasps> so oh my god we're oh gonna my gosh. Here's how it's going to go down. Oh my God. Shortly, um, we're going to film our reaction, but we're going to use our little studio. So some of us will take the laptop and move to a little other area to continue enclave. the live stream. Um, yeah, on, Enclave. Is that word? Annex? Yeah. That seems, that seems strange. Um, oh. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll keep the live stream going, Ooh. and then we will have Israel's rehearsal reaction on our YouTube channel very shortly. Um, should we watch it now? Yes. Have you oh, got it up? Jonathan's got it up. Jonathan's got it up. Oh my gosh, oh wow. No. Yeah. Oh my god, that outfit. I'm scared, I'm scared. A deal, you can come in and have a look. <laughs> oh my god. The outfits are great. She looks incredible. 
Look at this in the box. They'll definitely use like camera work to make it look like it's moving. <gasps> mm. Walk, walk, fashion, baby, work. We can make that yeah, crazy. Oh my similar. god. <gasps> oh wow. Oh my god, the drop. Oh, the oh, drop. oh. Oh my, oh my god. Getting, like, it's a bit much. No, no, don't even. I'm ignoring you. Okay. That looks incredible. Okay, it just it, does, it does look good. It does look really good. Oh, someone's put Checky looks underwhelming. Checky photos are out as well. Oh, let's have a look at those. It's all happening. Oh, yeah, I love this vlog, vlog, fashion, baby, baby work, work it, all that bitch crazy. Look at the energy. Oh my god, that way they're doing like kicks. And oh, this is some world That with the superstar. red lighting. Oh my god. Did you see the back, the, the backing split? Oh my gosh. Listen, man, I'm living. I don't want to cry so bad. I was she ate. Oh my god. She does look really good. This is the end for everybody. Good. Oh my god. What? I got this so much right now. I'm dying. It's that was, I've, I've elevated to another plane of reality. Sinan, come and sit down. Sinan, I can laugh. Yes, you can. Get over it, come Go on over. Okay, come on okay this over, is. Baby. This Please, is. Be good. Oh, my so, so Mark, you're real. I'm gonna Are be you your gonna paparazzi. Are you gonna be a little whinge about that Noah Corral? Go on. Have a no, I'm not. I'm what not gonna have a whinge. That? I say it was love. No. She <laughs> ate with she mayonnaise, ate. with she ketchup, no with um, with pepper. And with I hope you have some crumbs because I'm really hungry. Yes. Oh, <laughs> this is this is this is beyond. Like Go a pigeon. To, what was that? Moose coffee. <laughs> Moose coffee. No, I, it, it looks good. She's so flexible. You know what? She I looks meant so to flexible. Bring, I meant to bring snacks today. I do actually have oh, snacks. God. I was gonna bring pakora because my city is very famous for its um, oh Leicester, uh, its Indian community. I was oh, going to bring yeah. different pakoras, so I'm going to bring Oh my that gosh, next you guys. Week, please. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> speechless. I want to say something. I'm just speechless. Hold oh, Czechia. Czechia yeah, is yeah. out. We need to have a look. Let's see Czechia. Before we, before we react to Israel. We'll react. <laughs> react. Let's have just a look at Czechia. Just want to see how you react. Hey, so I'm going to Nicole Scherzer now. Sestro Krasiva, oi ti si la horrible di na horrible I'm looking for the Czechia photos. Let us have a look. Okay, here we go. Oh wow! Okay, oh, that's okay. Cam. okay. It's very calm. Oh, oh yes. I like yes. that. Oh. We are not your, not your dog. It's got the hands like. Da, 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 da. It's got that. It's like I'm not your dog. Here they are. Not Here's Czechia. And it says we're not your dogs. Can oh, you see that? Is that the our chains? Is that a chain? Chains no. or is it like a? S oh, it's braids. It's braids. <gasps> oh wow. Oh, I'm very here for mm, this. Okay. Oh, this is this is this this is camp. Who said that? Did you say yeah. camp? It's this camp. is absolutely camp. There they are once again. Czechia is. Trying to get it so we don't get the glare of the. Oh yes, that's the one. There we go. Yes. Oh, do you see the 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 hands? Like we are strong. It we looks, gonna sleep. It looks a lot more cohesive than their national final because that. Oh yes. It, they were all. It in was black. Colors. It was black. It was so national, dark. It was so dark. Now it's light. We see the hope. We see the love. Okay. Do we have any comments? It yeah. What do you think of Czechia? Did not disappoint. Absolutely, girl. Absolutely. Yeah, Czechia. What about the song? I like the song. I love that they used a lot of languages and it, it reminds me of something like Sophie Marino. Oh, yes. And um, they are very talented and so gorgeous. Someone's put Czechia and Q, oh honey, that's God. not good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Czechia are qualified. They're through, no question. Yeah. Is it, is it first semi final, right? Um, Ducky oh, 35, oh, where can you see the photos? There's a live blog. Um, personally, I've been looking Eurovision. at e Yes. I've been looking at EFC Official. Discord on Twitter myself. We are on Twitter. Yes, but also, they're, they're also on our Twitter. Yeah, yeah. they're Everything. on our Twitter. <laughs> they are on Weebox, Twitter, Instagram. The check here photos aren't up there yet, yeah. but I'm going to tweet them right now. Yeah. So please bear Give with us two me. seconds and you can see it on us. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> and I. So, somebody <laughs> said so much flamingo. Check here flamingo. Ah, because yeah. of the colors. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so interesting. Hi, Sinan. How are you? Great. Thank you. How are Driving you, Derya? Is that Turkish? Derya, Sinan, çok seviyoruz. 
the hands look re really good with the <gasps> hugging. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! I think it's not. I think it's like um, a puppet master. Mm. Could it be like we are not uh, dolls? We do you reckon it could be yeah. that? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, a, yeah. like a marionette. Yeah. 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 Okay. Guys, when you when will you be in the press room? <laughs> Um, next, next week. Next week, yeah. Wrong. Press room doesn't open till the 8th. The yeah. less we say, the better. Hmm. Sadly. Uh, um, Praying they don't have France? any instruments. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's Wait, modern. hold on. We're doing like four questions at one time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. What do you think about France? Surf. Absolute slay. Let's see what the staging is because I hope it's a little bit more interesting than the music video, but I did still love it. Anyway. Um, she's mothering. She's, a she's the mother. Mm. She's literally the mother of Eurovision 2023. Period. Yeah. Is she actually a mother? Does she have Yes, yes she, she does. We found out she actually does have a kid. We were like, yeah. oh, she's literal mother. She is literal mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. Merkabalar, oh, Turkey, Turkey. Oh. What was Vesna wearing? Sinan, can you describe what so, Vesna looked like outfit wise? They had braids. I don't know if they were coming from their hairs. I don't. I'm not sure, but they are wearing pink, uh, like a uh, baby pink. Mm. Uh, pants. Yeah, yeah, baby like, pink. like a flamingo Light pink. pink. Yes, like, like this, this color. Yes, exactly, exactly. And white blues, I believe. Was it white or cream? I, yeah, I, I think it's maybe the colors of the backdrop that, ah, yes. that alters because it's quite a light pink. Yes, everything the is sun, light. Everything. Everything's you know, light, light, but bright. that means that the colors can kind of. There's Change. some camera tricks yes. with, with the colours. Um, you'll see, I'm about to tweet them right now, so mm. please follow us on Twitter and you can see mm. the pictures from Czechia's first rehearsal. Um, Mary Tota, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, because you're spamming us, asking us what we're going to think of Albania, we might as well answer that. Yes. Um, it's not my cup of tea, but I can respect it for what it is. Mm. It's just not generally my vibe, but their voices are beautiful and I think they could very well qualify. I think oh, so. Yes. Albania typically does quite well for the televote. Yes. It, it's the jury Yo. that let them down last year, wasn't it? With with um, Ronella. Ronella. So yeah, they they could do. Um, I saw an interpretation that was like last year. Remember when Ronella's rehearsal came out and it, it was it was quite sensual. It was a little Sexy. bit raunchy. She um, replicated kind of linguist. She did. <laughs> um, <laughs> She did, and then it's literally a family. They've gone family friendly, so it's, <laughs> it's like kind the exact of opposite. exact opposite. So let's see how people respond. By the way, just out of intrigue, I'm seeing quite a lot of people when I look at comments on Croatia. People are like, "But you told us, Renella." Literally, those two are very separate things. Mm. They're not comparable. Stop popping off about Renella on Croatia. <laughs> Mother has told you. Mother has told you. She has Mother spoken. has spoken. Stop popping off about Ronella on all things to do with Croatia. It is a totally different thing. Yes, they're both like got shock factor. That's about as close as the Russians yeah. get. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No matter what you think about Croatia. Right. So okay. Whatever. We need to answer so chess because they are going. Bizarre. Crazy for for, Ooh, for Greece. So should we talk about Victor Venikos? We've talked about him a few times, um, but yeah, we've all kind of said like, I mean, I really like his song. I think it's underrated, but generally, I think the vibes are quite. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I really, I really like his energy. Yeah. He's he's so sweet and so. Mm so like happy to be representing Eurovision. I mean, what an honor yeah. to be like the youngest contestant. Oh yeah, definitely. And as of right now is the youngest contestant in Eurovision history, because like uh, at least the latest the born, the born in what, like 2006, 2007? Yeah. Which is wild. 2000, somebody born in 2007 is now <laughs> representing oh, a look, country Oh look, the gray hair just came through. Yeah, 2007 was like my first proper Eurovision, so... 2007, I started A-Levels. Girl. It's just nice. A-Levels or... A-Levels, like, I, I was sick. Are you trying to be rude? <laughs> no, I was trying to think what came before A-Levels, but that was GCSE. Oh, O-Levels. <laughs> Are you calling me old? Oh, Lucy Percy did O levels. Am I not mother? Am I oh, grandmother? <laughs> She's ancestor. Yes, we yes. are going to film reaction yes. videos, guys. Noah Kirill Israel Unicorn is coming. Right Who wants now. to live stream? I don't mind way. Yeah, I'm happy to stay in the live stream. People on the live stream love you. So if you just take the computer with you and you can go 
or maybe to the other side? Or? Let's go for a little jolly. Am I unplugging from here? Oh, that's fine. Let's go for a jolly. Right, where am I going? I want to see like those chairs over there to the right. Go with me. I've been in this room approximately once. Look how pretty it is out there, by the way. The buildings are wonderful. Where am I going? It's, it's so pretty in here. It's cool. My husband is stalking me around. Okay. Um, so, bear with me. By the way, a really nice thing. If you come visit us in the Lush Lounge, you can get treatments whilst you're here because there is a spa on the floor below. Um, bear with me. Hi. Oh, boy and damn. Thank you so much. I just said this. Oh, my earrings. Daisy Jones. These are pan pride earrings because I'm a pan queen. They were from Etsy. I just searched pan pride earrings or pan earrings. And like you can get them in all the different colors of all the different pride flags. They're amazing. You can see there's quite a few different sellers on Etsy that do it. Right. Victor was not born when Lordy won in Athens. Nico, you're making me feel old. Dominic on an adventure with Lusa. Yeah, I am an East Midlands girl. Unfortunately, that is the accent that I tend to have is Lusa. If you're in my part of the UK, we do say S. So I have apparently influenced Blanca from Poland. Baby. Uh, <laughs> If the vocals are, bear with me, if the vocals are good, can we, you all agree that Chucky will certainly move on to the final. I think whether the vocals are good or not, they're making it. That song is so strong. And that staging looks absolutely phenomenal. Looks really good. Our connection's getting worse. Oh no. Um, bear with me one second, guys. Connection's bad, apparently. Can you just come ask what we can do about it? okay we're sorting the internet thing guys we're sorting the internet thing bear with us um joe coming to liverpool on the 11th of may are you guys going to be in lush then yes our residency at lush is i believe until the 13th like the final day we're still in here we're going to have some people in here and we're going to have some people at the press center in the arena um yeah oh my god james rice james rice sorry i know this isn't the point here this is a eurovision stream but you've put what's my favorite aston villa player no, um, still on my, um is there like a, it's sorry the internet we're sorting the internet because of the battery oh the battery you have to plug it in somewhere i don't know you uh, is there, there somewhere i can go with the I can move somewhere else if it means the battery. We're getting a full tour of the Lush Lounge with Wee Wee Blocks. Sinan is an angel and he's running across the room. Who's the guy behind me in the white t-shirt? <laughs> the guy behind me in the white t-shirt is in fact my, my suffering husband, Adil. Um, he has driven me to Liverpool today because I wanted to do just like a day trip and he's a good man. He volunteered at London Eurovision Party as well, just cause. He's a good act. Um, Sinan, my love, can I bring a table over here? Oh, he's doing the heavy lifting for us. We love a token straight man in the room. Um, look how nice it is in here, guys. Look how pretty. In this room, it's awesome. Look, there's a big lush thing. Thank you, Adil. There he is. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Um, so, rehearsals we've had so far today. We had Israel first thing. We've had the photos and the TikTok for that. It's been absolutely wild. Oh my, I'm sorry, I'm seeing quite a few. People put this on. Yes, there is Aston Villa on Weeby Blogs. They are my beloved. Um, sorry to push football on you all. Um, filming against the light gives you a halo. Well, the good news is we've moved except for this little bit here. So yeah, Israel was an absolute serve. Like, she served, she ate, she left no crumbs. The staging is insane. With this, like, boxing that seems to tilt, it's like... 
I, I don't want to compare it to the Sergei Lazarev staging, but like the, the craft in the work needed to perform that staging, it looks so difficult. I can't actually believe that we've got that. I mean, I think I was, I think we always kind of knew that it was going to be a serve when we knew that like, when we heard that, you want to see me dance? You want to see me dance? We always knew it was going to be the moment of the year. Um, and yeah, I think it is going to be quite spectacular. It could be a bit of a fuego moment. Um, you, you didn't actually send this to me, but I'm going to answer this question for you anyway. Do you think Eurovision should host a special edition and bring back past winners, favourite entries to crown the ultimate Eurovision winner? Like Hunger Games quarter quell. I would be, that's such a, they're filming a reaction over the hence the let's do this. Um, so yeah, I think that would be incredible. Can you imagine? I mean, Lorient would turn up again and be like, probably if anything that like this year is to go by. <laughs> How has this turned into football chat and the thing? I mean, I know I'm wearing an Aston Villa shirt, but come on. <laughs> um, so yeah, that'd be so cool. Who like comment and stuff? Who would you want to see in like a Eurovision All Stars? Like, who would you think would absolutely come and slay? Can you imagine Celine Dion? Celine Dion. Um, <gasps> Alistair McRae, oh my god, I love Alistair, Alistair McRae, we chat, he's really nice. We need more football ex Eurovision crossovers, if you are a football fan, there is in fact a Twitter group chat, shout out to any of the football Euro fans if you are watching. Um, yeah, we, it's, it's, there's actually a surprising, I mean any excuse to wave a flag around, right? Um, what is my favourite entry from Malta for the past 10 years? Era Losco, Walk on Water comes to mind. I really love that song. Um, that was a really special Eurovision for me for personal reasons. And that is one of the songs that really sticks out from it. It's just incredible. Um, Leslie Roy would win the Eurovision All Stars. Um, you wrote. I'm not sure she would, but I do think she's amazing and yeah, like I would love to see Leslie Roy back actually with maybe more staging that suits her because I think she could have done pretty well in 2020 with Story of My Life. Um, oh my god, we're still doing football chat, I'm really sorry. Um, so, oh, they already did that for the 50th anniversary in 2005, did they? I don't, I legit don't remember this. I'm old, but I'm not like old enough to remember that. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, yes, Urban Symphony. Estonia 2009. Thanks, Chris Macken. Like, yeah, absolutely. Urban Symphony would come back and just absolutely be incredible. Well, like, just with a more modern song. Well, not more modern song. I mean, a song for now. That would be incredible. C CFS Sports and Bucks Fizz versus Celine Dion for the win. I'm a British Eurovision fan, but I'm not that delusional, honey. I think I'd know. Um... Um, Agapi Ntula, guys, can someone join WeVlogs as a member? You can apply through a link on the website. Um, I'm not, I'm assuming we are taking members at the moment, I don't know. But you can, there's, there's a thing that's saying join us um, on the website. Jonathan's here lurking about. Hello, sunshine. Let's get Jonathan in. What do we think about Lock Me In from last year? Join, one cheek on, one cheek off. Let's do this not meant to do it let's do this. what do you think about lock me in from last year um it, it, it was fun um I it. It, I oh my of, god we're being brought and thank you very chef. much yeah thanks a deal um yeah wasn't your cup of tea no <laughs> no i mean i could get on with the chorus and like bop along with it um but i feel like the verses were just Bland in nature. So. Yeah. No, I, I'm a huge Nika Kotcharov stan. Um, Midnight Gold is my favourite Eurovision song of all time. I should be more embarrassed about that than I am, but I genuinely love Nika Kotcharov so much, so I actually really enjoyed it. The first time I ever heard that song, I was in Frontierland at Disneyland Paris, 
and then like my friend was on a smoke break I was like oh Georgia's song has dropped and we just watched it like there were French people around us like what the hell when we were listening to take it from the top from the side up and I was it was a weird moment <laughs> um I think we did the spacecraft why will this not go what big big, big block I can't speak what big plot twist would you want to happen in this year's Eurovision um a not obvious winner maybe because I think this year is so clear and obvious I'd quite like to see something really random like this is gonna sound controversial I prefer tattoo as a song than AR but I would rather see Spain win than Sweden. I can understand that, yeah. Even though like some of my best mates live just north of Gothenburg and I'd be like, Pietro, for that accommodation for next like, year. I, <laughs> I could only imagine what the reaction would be, is going to be like when Spain next win. <laughs> like, it's going to be one. It's going to be such a good Eurovision though when it's next in Spain. It, when, when Spain wins, because I do think it's a matter of when, not yeah. if. When Spain win, that's going to be an incredible Eurovision. It's going to be hard to get tickets to it, though. They're going to have to do a Denmark 2001 and host it in like a 50,000 seater arena because it will sell out. We have a super chat. Thank you very much. Ah, I can't find it. Ah, good, yeah. Thank you. So, Magnus. Sekelsten, and I'm, I've definitely said that wrong, I'm really sorry. Um, 35 Norwegian Corona, thank you so, so much, really appreciate it. Midnight Cold is awesome, best Georgian entry, I agree. I just think it was so left field. You know, do you remember when it qualified? They were like, <laughs> like they did not expect to qualify at all. They were literally like, <laughs> what? When it was announced they qualified, and then when the UK gave it's it 12, 12 points, points, they were like, taking off the hats, like, so yeah, no, I I love that song so so much. It has such a dear place in my heart, and I am still fuming that it is not on Spotify. Um, where is everybody? Are they cha cha chatting? Uh, no, honest answer, honey, is that they are filming a reaction for Israel right now. Um, so there's lots of ah! from over there. <laughs> Ariel. Oh, sorry, Slavotsky. Do you think Noah Carell has winning potential in an, any other year? Yes. Um, I don't know. It could be the moment. She could win Televote. I don't think she's going to win Eurovision because I think it is so nailed on as like one of two options. But you never know. Especially because we haven't seen as much from Lurian's TikTok because yeah. there was like random still Photos. images in there. Um, so we, I mean, I'm going to assume it looks similar. The fact that it's a smaller box means nothing. I think it will look the same on camera. Oh God, I'm nearly kicking the table over. Um, I think she could get very good televote. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. One second. What do you think, oh Jonathan, what do you think about the new rule of 100% televote semis? That's a really great question, Nico. I've grown more into it. I think initially when it was announced, I was like, mm, I kind of like having both in there. Yeah. But I think as long as the grand final is both televote and jury, then that definitely needs to stay. Yeah. But having the semi finals as televote only, I actually don't mind anymore. Mm. Yeah. I am. Um, I'm very pro jury in the sense that I like to the idea of having a jury in a semi final. But did you ever see that tweet from a disgruntled lady called Carol somewhere in the UK last year after semi final one? <laughs> Basically, Carol's like, My gay grandson is very angry because all the fun pop songs have been kicked out. And she was, she just kept me like, My gay grandson is very upset. She is an icon on UK Eurovision Twitter. I'm obsessed with her. We were like, Yes. <laughs> Um, so I think it was good news for Carol um, that, that the, uh, the juries are gone. I mean, I think last year really did have to be the nail in the coffin for having juries in semi-finals. Having, was it two songs that qualified that got zero on Televote? Switzerland and Azerbaijan, they both got zero, didn't they, on Televote? Uh, I think Azerbaijan definitely did in the semi-final. Yeah. 
this is what I mean though in the the semis was just the grand final I mean the fact that both of those songs got a zero and televote at any point I think something had to be done I personally am a big fan of like a jury song like I really love Mal by Ugent Bushpepper that's another one of my favorites of all time that wouldn't have made it on the new system there is quite a few that wouldn't have made it that I really love um but something had to happen because we were getting re- like last year there was that run can you imagine having to be the person to like do that running order like for last year's final can you yeah. imagine having to be that person and then still putting Estonia on last and that was my favorite last year but putting Stefan Hope on last with all those ballads was a choice um yeah i had i had friends who were very much like wasn't that much into Eurovision last year just because of how many ballads it was were yeah in there. there was so many ballads I'm not a ballad fiend to be honest Marcus Eriksson says it would be nice if Sweden wins so I have a good reason to visit my second home I am a Sweden fiend I got engaged in Sweden it's my favorite place in the world um, I go there quite a lot just it's getting loud over there there are opinions on Noah Corral um, yeah, just north of Göteborg. I let my friends live up there, and it's really beautiful. So I'd be quite happy. Do you reckon it would be in Gothenburg if it was in Sweden next year? Because obviously the last two host cities were Malmö and Stockholm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about their arena. Scandinavian. Whether it hold, holds up to modern day well, it, standards. It usually hosts Melo, and I successfully. Yeah. Oh, I hope it's in Gothenburg. If it, if it goes to Sweden. It's whether they go for the big friends one. Mm. Yeah, I would like it to be in Gothenburg for sure. Do you think Georgia or Latvia could break the negative streak of consecutive non-qualifications this year? Georgia, yes. Latvia, I really hope so because they're my second favourite. I think my three of my favourites in semi-final one are Malta, Latvia and Netherlands. Um, I'm not in a good position them being my favourites. I think Latvia is the most likely to get through from those three, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. I would really love to see... Oh, I forgot to actually put that comment up. I'm really sorry. Um, that Yeah, that was Mimi. Oh, my God. Go up on the screen. I'm not used to this computer. Um, yeah, Mimi is the... Sh- sh- is the... the sh- do you think Georgia or Latvia? Do you think Georgia or Latvia could break their non-qualification streaks? Um, Georgia in semi-final two, probably. Latvia, I'm not sure. I want it to qualify. I think all of us. I think generally we we we're all quite we're all pro Latvia. We're all quite pro Latvia, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so we are on lunch break with the rehearsals. So what we're going to do is close off the live stream for this morning. Um, and we are uploading our Israel reaction to the first rehearsal onto YouTube very shortly. Um, but we will be back with the live stream after lunch to react to who else do we have coming up soon? Netherlands. Oh my God. Uh, Finland. <gasps> Look, God. Yeah. Denmark. Denmark and some of the other countries from semi final two. Well, I can't remember who's forming second in semi final two. Me neither. But we have the schedule on Weary Vlogs on Instagram and on WeirdVlogs.com. So please join us once again for the live stream this afternoon. And we will see you very soon. All right. Bye, lovers. Bye. Bye. Does anyone know what the- <laughs> yeah, We have to, to finish. finish. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. The way I want to finish it, if, if I say hello, what do you say? Game over. Yes. Game over. Hello. Game over.